felt like I played really solid today. I honestly didn't finish how I would have liked. I finished bogey bogey, but um, I played really well. I finally found something working with my putting. I felt like I was hitting the ball really well and I'm looking forward to next week at the British. You know, I don't really have a lot of experience with Lynx golf, so I'll find out tomorrow when I play the course for the first time, but you do have to get creative with Lynx golf, especially around the greens, I know that. So it'll be interesting, and you never know what the weather will bring, so it'll be a lot of adjustment. Um, I think, I mean, the biggest difference is just being in a different country and everything is foreign and you're so far away from home, but I say the golf is pretty similar. The weather is a little different for me. Um, but I say it's pretty similar. Golf is golf. Uh, I'm just a little bit further away from home. I would say just make it fun. I mean, I grew up playing with girls my age and we always went out, we had fun, we played nine holes, and we'd go out to lunch or have sleepovers. So I think it's really with the group that you're playing with and making sure that you're keeping it a game and remembering that you are young and it should be fun. And um, golf is a very social sport. So you can go out with three of your girlfriends and have fun and have a, a day of golf and relaxing. Oh, what have I seen? Oh, can I tell you a story of her? Absolutely. And it's not even a player, it's a caddy. <laughs> uh, one of my friends was playing and her caddy was getting very, very upset with how she was playing and so he he threw her golf ball in the water and threw the bag down and walked off the course. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess he was very emotionally invested in the mountain. And without a job after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely inspired me. Being able to watch him on TV and know that he was so successful and he was a part of my family, I think was very motivating for me. I grew up watching him on TV every weekend and trying to mimic, you know, in front of the TV. So um, it was fun for me to know that that he was doing so well and that, uh, I mean, I was only five years old, so I thought it was so cool that I had a famous uncle. Um, I mean, there's obviously a lot of added attention because of it. The last name Woods brings a lot of attention in the game of golf, so, um, you know, it's definitely understandable, but I've had it since I was nine or ten years old. So, for me, I don't know anything different other than, you know, the interviews and, you know, the extra fans out to watch, but um, in terms of pressure, not, not a whole lot, because that's always just put on from the outside, not from me personally. So, uh, when I'm on the course, I just focus on, you know, my personal goals and, and doing what I've done for so long.